Hello, I am Noni Cream, the founding creative director of Butter London, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our brand, which has recently come to Germany. We are an exclusive brand at the Douglas stores, so you can now find us all over the country, and we're extremely excited to be here. If you don't know anything about the Butter London product range, just from first glance, what you can tell is that we are all about color. Maybe you've used bright color in the past, but what makes our range special is that the colors are formulated backstage at Fashion Week. And we know when we have a hit color, we produce it and you find it on the shelves at your local Douglas store. So the Butter London range is really all about fashion and genuinely bringing high fashion nail lacquers to the people. Uh, today, I want to show you a little bit about how to achieve the perfect paint job at home when you don't have access to the salon. So I'm going to use my beautiful model Caroline here. People often skip base coat because they don't have time, but it's a crucial step to getting a perfect manicure. Base coat is stain resistant, and because nail lacquer carries a lot of pigment, you want to be sure you don't stain your fingernails. So here we go. By the time I get to Caroline's 10th finger, her first finger is dry. That's pretty incredible. The colors that I want to use today are all from our spring summer collection. They come to you fresh from the catwalk where I saw several key trends this season. And the first one that I think we should look at is called New Pastels. When you paint, before you put the color on, try to get a tiny slice of color. You don't have to be tidy about it, just throw it on across the edge of the fingernail before you paint. This will make a seal of color all the way around the fingernail. It's gonna help your lacquer to last even longer. I recommend two coats of color when you're painting your nails. Don't worry too much about the first coat. If you don't get it perfect, you still have the second coat to fix it. Get the product on as thin as possible to get the best result. I'd like to show you how to paint an ombre fingernail now. And one way to achieve that is to take a drop of color, leave it on the end of the fingernail, wipe your brush clean, and then use this little blob of lacquer to just gently brush color across the tip. It takes two seconds. Don't overthink it. It's just meant to be messy and loose, so you really can't get it wrong. And there you have instantly a beautiful modern art nail moment. You can layer as many shades as you see fit. Just try to let them dry a little bit in between each shade. To finish this ombre manicure, I'm going to go in with bossy boots with a little bit of a shallower line and just do the very tips of Caroline's finger now. And as you can see, this is taking me no time at all, but looks like she spent hours in the salon. And there you have it, the perfect Butter London Ombre Manicure. I'm feeling so inspired. Now this is a type of color blocking manicure. So all you need to do is paint a traditional manicure on all of your fingers except for your ring finger. And then we're gonna choose a highly contrasting color to paint the ring finger, which is just going to give you a little bit of a flash of color. Very high fashion, very fun, very chic. You don't take yourself too seriously when it comes to your beauty. If you overdo beauty, everyone can tell. It should look loose, you should always look like yourself, whether you're a drag queen or a fashionista. If you're being true to yourself, know who you are and then be who you are and you will always look beautiful. If you'd like to find the Butter London range, we are sold exclusively at Douglas stores in Germany. You can also find us on their website, douglas.de. Thank you.